It's time for Live in Tallahassee. Local events, local businesses, local groups, your friends and neighbors on TV. Live in Tallahassee, brought to you by United Way of the Big Bend. Elect United. Don't let apathy win. Tallahassee Dodge Chrysler Jeep, right on the corner and always right on the price. Miller's Ale House and Prism TV by CenturyLink. And now, here are your hosts, Ann Howard and Joel Silver. Welcome to another episode of Live in Tallahassee. And as you can see, this show is going to be a little bit different. We are standing in the Museum of Florida History, where throughout the next 30 minutes on this show, we're going to take you on a tour of what is going to be an incredible celebration in 2013, and that is Viva Florida. We're going to show you some highlights as we go through the show. We're going to talk to some folks from the Secretary of State's office, visit Florida, and a whole lot more, and we'll show you parts of this beautiful museum. But we start. You won't believe who we have on the show. The first time on our show, and really way too important of a person to have on our program, the Secretary of State, Ken yeah, Detzner. Yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you for, for joining us. Me. Secretary of State, your, uh, your office is in charge of the entire Viva Florida celebration. And I'm sure people may have heard of it, but really, let's just start at the basics of what we're doing. Well, let me give you a little basics. The governor has designated the Department of State as the lead state agency for Viva Florida. Viva Florida 500 is the 500th commemoration of Eastern Europeans landing on the east coast of Florida in 1513. And we're gonna be commemorating not just that experience, that moment, but actually 500 years of Florida history the first state in the country. Now, we want to go to another piece of video here because, like you said, the cities are all participating. Yes. Just recently, we were over with Visit Tallahassee as they launched their Viva Florida celebration, and they gave away some awards and other things at that meeting. But you're looking at some of the footage here. Uh, a lot of city commissioners, county commissioners, everybody was at this event. It was held at Mission San Luis, and uh, speeches given, everybody talking about the excitement of Viva Florida. And Mr. Secretary, uh, tell me how Tallahassee and other people can, uh, can be a part of the celebration. Well, you mentioned one, the Mission San Luis is a, just a gem for us to be able to feature as part of uh, Viva Celebrations. Uh, it was one of the Spanish missions. Uh, it was a bridge, it was a, a point of entry for diversity between the Native Americans and the Spanish and Eastern European cultures. Uh, and throughout North Florida, all the way to Jacksonville and to St. Augustine, there were multiple missions. This happens to be one of the best preserved. Uh, our history throughout North Florida is very rich with uh, the entire history of the United States, but more important, the discovery of the United States. It's interesting. Uh, is there going to be an effort in the schools? Is there going to be more teaching this year of these subjects? Yes, we've been partnering with the Department of Education, but uh, libraries are involved, museums are involved, cultural facilities are involved, and so uh, one of the things we're trying to do is to build the cultural awareness uh, among Floridians and students so that they know better uh, about the history and our culture and the diversity of our state. Okay, and now back here, what you're looking at, you are a part right now of the Viva 500 Florida exhibit in the R.A. Gray building where we are doing our show from this week. You're on the Spanish Galleon and this is one of the exciting things that you can do to learn more about Florida history and this is another part, Mr. Secretary, of the Secretary of State's office, right? Exactly. This is the Florida Museum which is an interactive experience that people can come down uh, Monday through Sunday and uh, take a walk through. It's the history of Florida is what it is. You can start with the Native Americans and as you move through this new exhibit area here from 1513 to 1821, you get a chance to see and learn a little bit more about the history of that particular period. Okay, and then this special area now, which is just opened last year. It did. This, uh, this is where the specifics about Viva Florida, this is Ponce, a big, This Dillion. is a big part of the era known as the uh, Discovery Area or the European Discovery Area uh, period of time in which Ponce de Leon landed here in Florida. Well, you see that? He knows everything about everything. It's incredible. Now, we're running out of a little bit of time, but we want to really, really challenge you here. Okay. Because we're at the exhibit here. I'm ready. Where... We learned to tie knots, which apparently have a big historical significance right here on the ship. We're going to bring in our knot tying expert. We have the Secretary of State of the State of Florida here, and we're asking him to tie knots. So let's see what we're going to do here. Very good. One of the most important uh, popular exhibits we have in the museum are the hands-on. The knot tying, if you look at the rigging of the boat, there's just thousands of knots. This is a square knot. 
let me show you how that's done. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's a square knot. And if you want to succeed in life, one of the things you need to learn how to do is tie a square knot. And that's about a C minus. <laughs> <laughs> but it's my best effort. But okay. again, well done. And you know, without any practice or warning. Exactly, exactly. Square knots used to join two ropes securely. And then there's the bowlin, which is a knot used to, for lowering sailors to do their work on the, over the side of the ship. Describe that now with the rabbit. And out of the hole, around the tree, and back in the hole, and you have the secure bowlin knot. And that's good for just about anything in life, right there. You can just about get away with anything if you can tie a bowlin knot. <laughs> All right. And well, that's how you do it. I know nothing about tying knots. Uh, where does this knowledge come from? Well, I'm wearing slippers and fl uh, non-tie shoes right now, but it comes from a long history. Keep in mind, people needed to learn how to survive, how to sail boats, and you didn't sail a boat if you didn't know how to tie a knot. Aha, uh -huh. and this is all interactive, so you, there's people here at the museum to show you all kinds of fun things like there's this. There's tours, there's audio guides, there's uh, just about everything you want for not only the adult, but also for children in the family to come and enjoy a wonderful historical experience about Florida. Okay, well there it is everybody, segment one of the show, that's the introduction to Viva Florida, 500 years of Florida history. Mr. Secretary, unbelievable, thank you so much for joining us, and you love the TV show Live in Tallahassee? And love it, watch it every week, All I right. set my alarm clock to watch it. <laughs> to wake up for, exactly, for it, exactly attend, because right. we're on so thank late. Thank you for being here and welcome to the Florida Museum. Fantastic, thank you for having us. Live in Tallahassee is back next with Visit Florida. <laughs> También el tequila blanco con su sal le da sabor Ay, 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 amor Ay, mi morena de mi corazón Ay, 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 amor Ay, mi morena de mi corazón Live in Tallahassee, a proud supporter of United Way of the Big Bend We'll be right back after this break our community is a great place to live, work, and play. But did you know that one in ten of our neighbors can't read? That makes it hard for them to get a job, which means they're probably living in poverty. Kids who can't read will struggle in school. Fortunately, we're doing something about it through United Way. Our contributions help adults and children learn how to read. Want to solve problems? Elect United for a stronger, safer, healthier community. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Such a place I've never imagined. I could explore for a thousand lifetimes. 2013 marks 500 years since Ponce de Leon explored La Florida. Now it's your turn. Discover our beautiful state at sharealittlesunshine.org. Hi, live in Tallahassee viewers, this is Brian over at the Ale House. Come on by for our frosty beers, smoking hot women, and have a great orange crust. See us on Saturdays for the Florida State games, even the internet broadcast. And check us out on Sundays, we got every NFL game there is. Miller's Ale House on Appalachian Parkway, just down the street from the Capitol. The Lauren Country Club is home to an active golf community with tournaments, leagues, clinics, and lessons for all ages and abilities. We offer a variety of affordable memberships to meet your needs, including golf, tennis, and social memberships. The Killarn lifestyle is about golf and so much more. At Killarn Country Club, you'll find something for every member of your family. To schedule a tour at the Country Club, please call me, Lori Wilkie, in the sales office. I hope to welcome you to our Country Club family soon. Cuando el pie de tu ventana, pa' que sepas que te quiero, tú a mí no me quieres nada, pero yo por ti me muero. Dicen que ando muy errado, que despierte de mi sueño, pero se han equivocado, porque yo he de ser tu dueño. We welcome you back to Live in Tallahassee. You're hearing some beautiful folk Mexican music. Sergio joining us here at the Museum of Florida History as we 
see some authentic Florida history. You're seeing some scenes here as we move around the state. And a couple of our friends right there on camera, some of the original early settlers of Florida. Welcome back to Live in Tallahassee. We have another guest here with us now. You've seen this guy before on the show, and he is here now because it sounds to me like Viva Florida, Viva 500 is all about tourism and bringing people to Florida. It's so cool. We listen to the Secretary of State talk about Viva Florida 500 and how what, what an amazing commemoration it is. But when you walk around the Florida Museum here and you get to see what 500 years and actually thousands of years even before that, you see it come to life and you realize that the... Uh, the state of Florida has an amazingly rich tradition, an incredibly unique cultural um, diversity that, that most of us don't know. And certainly I think most people outside of the state of Florida, don't. That, that's not the first thing that comes to their mind. You know, of they course, think yeah. of the, you know, 825 miles of the most beautiful beaches, they think of the theme parks or fishing and all the things that we've really kind of branded as the sunshine state. But uh, it's a lot deeper, it's a lot more rich than, than a lot of us certainly in Florida know and certainly a lot of people that outside, of the, outside of the state are aware of. So I think the Viva Florida celebration commemoration gives us a really incredible platform to highlight our culture, our diversity and an amazing history that is the Sunshine State, and that has a, a huge opportunity for us, a huge draw for, for new visitors. Um, but I think more importantly, probably, is it gives us an opportunity to get a visitor that's been here, been here year in year out, to maybe extend their stay a day or two and uh, and see something they might not might not have known about. Were you as impressed as I was about the Secretary of State and his knowledge of? All this Florida history? Uh, the, the knot tying, especially. <laughs> yes. The knot tying, especially. But I'll tell you, I, the secretary walked me through the museum today, and it's remarkable. Everything from the, you know, the, old, the weapons of the, the, you know, the Calusa Indians to the incredible history of uh, uh, World War II and how, how important Florida, what an important role Florida played uh, there. Um, so it's, it's just, it's, it's really neat, the, the, uh, the amazing dynamics of, of this museum and how it kind of brings to life what 500 years of Florida uh, has kind of brought together to make it an incredible place. And we have it right here in Tallahassee. Yeah, So who if you haven't have thought? been to this museum, you need to come over and check it out. R.A. Gray building right behind the Supreme Court. So, Will, we've talked to you before on the show about the, the whole effort by Visit Florida to bring friends and family, invite them to come to Florida, and, and that's how we help our economy and everything. So that's all going to be a part of this next year as well, right? Ryan, we saw, we'll see a PSA of uh, Juan Ponce de Leon. Uh, you know, I guess the way we describe him now is Florida's first explorer. Yes. And, and what we're trying to tie in is for, you know, he was the first explorer, but we've had 500 years of explorers. And they all come back and they leave with incredible memories. And the idea for uh, Floridians and for everybody that's uh, watching the show is we can have a huge Huge impact on the Florida economy by doing a simple thing, and that's just inviting friends and family to come down and visit you. Um, and what we're trying to do now is come down and visit and maybe see something that you might not have otherwise thought about. So go to a museum, uh, go check out a historical site, or, or and it doesn't have to be a 500-year-old experience. You can go to um, you can go to Wakulla Springs, and there's an amazing history there. It goes all the way back to you know thousands of years up to recently when we you know shot a. Tarzan movie there, but there's deep, rich, cool history um, all around the state. So, let's so you, kn you know about all this history stuff too? I, I'm, I'm yeah. a convert. I'm a convert. <laughs> and when I go back and I go to my next career, I'm going to become a, a historian. So this, okay? this is fascinating stuff. You look like a historian. You look. Do I, yeah. I, I, Let's put on my bow tie and we'll see what we can come up with. <laughs> that's good. How many visitors do we get to Florida a year? A little over 87 million visitors. That 87 cannot, million? 87 million visitors. Think about this. If we can use Viva Florida just to help get 20% of those visitors to stay one extra day, it'd, be the, it'd generate 30,000 jobs. So it, it's not in, un, un, unsubstantial to just invite your friends and family to come visit. It can have a huge economic impact. Every 85 visitors creates one job. And, and really, that's what we're all trying to take advantage of this unique opportunity to, one, help you know, expand people's perception of the state, but also you know, create, you know, create some significant economic opportunities. But so now everybody has the same website. We're all unified. It's the Viva? VivaFlorida.org, V-I-V-A, okay. Florida.org. Yes. Florida and that's going to be, uh, it's, right now it's um, something that we've been working on, Visit Florida, with the uh, Secretary of State's office for the last several years. The Secretary of State and their team are working on rebuilding that to, to bring more of the events to life so that we can, as consumers, can decide, you know, what's, see better what's happening around the state. So that's going to be a great partnership and I think a great resource for, uh, for Floridians all around the state to, to get involved, get engaged, and take advantage of what's really a unique, uh, a unique opportunity. No, you know, 500 years 
may not be a long time to somebody that lives in you know Europe, but for 500 right, years, yeah. you know, the first Thanksgiving was in Florida, it wasn't in Plymouth Rock. This, this is this is the beginning of uh, of what we know as the United States, and that's a great opportunity to be number one. We had the first visitor to the United States came to Florida. We there still you get go. more visitors and we'll be the number one travel destination in the world because uh, we started as the first travel destination. Wow, I love this. It all ties in together so perfectly. Doesn't it? Yeah. Pretty cool. This is great. Well, I, it's been a great interview. I think that uh, I think we everybody knows the deal, right? So you're going to learn a lot about Florida history in the coming months. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna share some stuff with you. Last time we had you on the show, we talked about things like the fan game, and we got great comments on that, and I think we uh, had a lot of people involved. So yeah. this time, there's more to do. Now, Viva Florida, you gotta get involved, and there's lots of fun things that are gonna be happening over the next year. Yeah, start right here. This is a great way to, to get a 500-year, get a, a couple thousand-year uh, experience. You won't believe what this place looks like. Uh, you're seeing some shots of it, but you have to see it in person if you really want to witness it. And Will Seckham, Chief Marketing Officer you, of Visit Florida. We love this guy. And there's still more to come. We'll be back with more live in Tallahassee right after this. Yo sé que hay muchas mujeres y que sobra quien te quiera pero ninguna me importa solo pienso en ti morena mi corazón descogido y llorar no quiero verlo el pobre mucho ha sufrido ahora tienes que quererlo ¿Qué voy a hacer? Si de veras te quiero, ya te adoré, y olvidarte no puedo. Now a message from United Way's opponent, Apathy. People who can't read. Kids with no place to go after school. Old people who can't cook their own meals. Is that my problem? <laughs> I don't think so. And if you vote for me, apathy, it's not your problem either. Vote for me, apathy, the alternative to United Way. I'm apathy, and I approve this message. Remember, if you do nothing, we win. At Tallahassee Dodge Chrysler Jeep, it's Ram Power Days with up to $11,000 off MSRP. That's right, $11,000 off MSRP. We're going to sell not one, not two, but 50 Ram 1500s at invoice by the end of the month. And I'll show you the invoice on any of them. That's right, 50 trucks going out the door at invoice by the end of the month. Ram Power Days are going on right now, only at Tallahassee Dodge Chrysler Jeep, home of the 1995 oil change on the corner of West Tennessee and Capitol Circle, where we're right on the corner and always right on the price. First was cable, then satellite. Now, CenturyLink introduces Prism, TV that's simply brilliant. Search shows fast with an interactive guide. Let's go, go. Access photos right on your flat screen. You can even watch and record up to four shows at once, pause, and play back in any room. This is TV worth switching for. CenturyLink Prism. See TV in a whole new light. You didn't read the invitation, did you? Pizza time! Pizza? You didn't read my text, did you? You didn't read the instructions, did you? Be prepared. Read a sample ballot to learn about Florida's general election candidates and constitutional amendment proposals. Welcome back to live in Tallahassee from the R.A. Gray Building and the Museum of Florida History. Live in Tallahassee is brought to you by our friends at Miller's Ale House, Tallahassee Dodge Chrysler Jeep, and we are partnered with our friends at Big Bend of the United Way. And welcome back. You are looking at the Spanish shipwreck part of the Museum of Florida History, and this stuff is cool. You should see this stuff. This is exciting. Let's bring in our next guest. We're doing the whole show from here because there's so much to talk about. Tim Storhoff, the Department of Cultural Affairs within the Secretary of State's office. And Tim, this is exciting because if you could make it through this entire museum, and if you could see all of this stuff, there's somewhere else we could go to. When you gotta go up a block to the Capitol building, go up to the 22nd floor, and check out the newly renovated uh, 22nd floor gallery, uh, 
beautiful view and we've got an exhibit up there. Uh, artistic representations of Florida throughout 500 years. The Division of Cultural Affairs is really excited to be partnered with Viva Florida 500 for this. We've got multiple Florida artists representing kind of all this history of Florida from before Ponce de Leon's arrival all the way up to the present day. Multiple historical artifacts up there. A lot of great stuff to see and views to die for. We've got uh, four Florida artists kind of depicting various stages of Florida history. We've also got some historical prints that date back to the 1500s of um, early interactions between Native Americans and the Spanish here in Florida. We've got an olive jar from the Columbus family crypt in Seville and all sorts of great stuff to go up there and check out. Well, we've got uh, with these um, prints that go way back, uh, they're based on some engravings that were based on paintings okay. that uh, Jacques Lemoyne did when he was first here with early explorers. So those are really interesting to look at, their interpretations of early Native American uh, interactions. Uh, there's an interesting one of how they perceived you had know, to kill an alligator, and it looks more like a dinosaur than <laughs> an alligator. But there's lots of really great old stuff up there, and all sorts of newer things as well. Okay, and now the thing is, with the 22nd floor, anybody can go there, right? Yep. Uh, this exhibit's going to be up through April 30th, 2013. We're going to have various gallery talks presented by Florida Arts, Inc. And uh, just keep on the lookout for those. The different artists and some historians will be up there to kind of explain what's going on. Well, I think it's unbelievable. I think there's going to be so much to learn here. And I, I mean, the 22nd floor, it's the top of the Capitol building, which is a state building, a free admission for everybody if you want to go up there and continue the exploration from this place and see lots and lots of artwork. Tim, uh, will you be up there? Can people see you there? Uh, I'll be in and out. Okay. But because um. he knows everything about this <laughs> stuff. Another, another genius here telling us all about the artwork. So head on up there all day long, every day, Monday through Friday, I think it is. Yep. And, uh, and another great place that you and your family can go here in Tallahassee. Tim Storoff, thanks so much Thank you. for joining us. One more segment to go live in Tallahassee, back right after this. Me gusta. Las santas y las chaparritas, las vacas, las gordas y las chiquititas, solteras y viudas y divorciaditas. Me gustan las chatas de caras bonitas, me gustan las suegras que no sean celosas, me gustan las chatas poco resbalosas, que tengan mamases muy buenas señoras, me gustan las gordas, tejan la dor, tengan hermanos que no sean celosos, que tengan sus novios cara de babosos, me gusta la vida, me gusta el amor, soy aventurero y revacilador. Ay la la la, ay la la la, ay la 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 la, ay la la la, ay la la la, aventurero. The Big Bend is a great place to call home. But every year, more than 3,000 people become homeless. One in four are children. Fortunately, we're doing something about it through United Way. United Way funding makes sure its homeless residents have a safe place to sleep. And their children, too. Like every community, ours has some problems. But together, through United Way, we're solving problems. This year, elect United for a stronger, safer, healthier community. Welcome back to Live in Tallahassee. Just enough time to tell you about some upcoming events coming this week in Tallahassee and several celebrity sightings. Let's start with the Tallahassee Quarterback Club, a great organization in town that supports local high school football athletics. Check this out at their meeting, old Vince Dooley from the University of Georgia. Vince Dooley considered the architect of that University of Georgia Bulldog Athletic Program. And uh, if you're a fan of athletics and football, you don't want to miss this meeting, Tuesday, October 23rd, and now FSU Athletics. It's homecoming week, everybody, and there are several exciting things going on. Let me tell you about a few of them. First of all, Sunday night, T.I. performing at Dote Campbell Stadium. First time in, I think, about 20 years, a concert in Dote Campbell Stadium for homecoming. I think I was at the last one, but T.I. performing there on Friday at the... Civic Center is Kathy Griffin, the main act for Homecoming Pow Wow. That'll be an interesting show. 
And then on Saturday, it is the FSU homecoming game. The big game. The Seminoles with only one loss still trying to climb back up in the polls. And I think they're going to do it. Let's look at some of the things happening in the coming weeks and months here in Tallahassee. And that brings this special show to a close here. It's been a really great show, live in Tallahassee from the R.A. Gray Museum, the Museum of Florida History. Again, if you haven't been to this museum, be sure you come and visit and learn a little bit about Florida history. A special thank you, the Secretary of State, Ken Detzner, Visit Florida, Will Seckham, and the whole gang, everybody here, uh, an amazing show. And we hope you enjoyed this special look because Viva Florida 500 is gonna be like nothing that's ever happened here before. And it's really worthy of the celebration that is planned. So, from everybody here at Live in Tallahassee and Ann Howard, who unfortunately isn't here with us this week and we missed her so much. She'll be back next week, I'll be back next week. And we'll see you on the next episode of Live in Tallahassee. Ay, 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 amor. Ay, mi morena de mi corazón Me gusta tocar guitarra, me gusta cantar el sol El mariachi me acompaña cuando canto mi canción Me gusta tomar mis copas, aguardiente es lo mejor También el tequila blanco con su sal le da sabor Ay, 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 amor Ay, mi morena de mi corazón Ay, 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 amor Ay, mi morena de mi corazón me gusta tocar guitarra, me gusta cantar el sol El mariachi me acompaña cuando canto mi canción Me gusta tomar mis copas, aguardiente es lo mejor También el tequila blanco con su sal le da sabor Ay, 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 amor Ay, mi morena de mi corazón Ay, 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 amor Ay, mi morena de mi corazón